Hi folks, acrylic again. Uh, it's so much easier to clean up after acrylics, clean the brushes, etc. No smell, no no odour. I prefer oils, but you know I'm coming to the stage where I'm, I could quite easily stay with the acrylics. Let's put a bit of that out, a bit of ochre. So the colours, uh, well, cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow, pale. Uh, yellow ochre, red, uh, blue, ultramarine, burnt umber, black, some burnt sienna and some viridium. Now, I've been on the bike ride this morning with the old man on the river model and looking through the wetlands where, from the boardwalk, there's some just lovely, lovely trees, all just changing colour. But I don't want to paint them as they are, I want to paint them as I uh, to make a painting of something rather than a copy and that means changing the tree colours from green to greens, blues, darks, silhouette uh, and then a very bright foreground of uh, grasses changing into autumn colours or even a wheat field. I've heavily gessoed this piece of MDF, 2mm MDF so here we go. Now um, I'll uh, whoops. I'll use a bit of vet gel. Pour that out. Pour some from my quite big two and a half litre pot. That'll do. I'm only going to do the one today. I'll, tomorrow I shall do one for Patreon. I'll publish it on uh, YouTube as I do. And for those that don't approve of me publicising my Patreon work, advertising, on YouTube. Just remember, I earn advertising revenue every time somebody puts a view on there, so it's in my interest to publish them. Not just for you, but for, because it helps me out. Uh, right, okay. So I'm going to, I'll put in, this, I'll put in the trees first, and I use this uh, graduate, Dale Rowney, Filbert, Lovely, lovely brush. We'll get some more of these from the range. Uh, right now, I want to quite a, a, a blue sky with plenty of dark blue and lighter blue, so a bit of blue black. Oops, it's wobbly a bit. So I feel I can just. Might be a bit better. Then we'll have some lighter blue. Better cover my laptop off. Um, Put a bit of toweling over it, otherwise it'll get splashed. Uh, I'm listening to the uh, it's a digital radio on me, my old laptop. It's very heavily gessoed. I need quite a bit of vet gel to get the flow going. Just put some paint on the sky. I was going to do the uh, the trees, and I'll, I'll do those now. And I was going to use this brush, so I forgot. Got a bit carried away. I 
Okay, now uh, blue, black, let's have a bit of blue, bit of yellow, bit of red. And One, one tree was really large on this horizon. Got a, like a, the park itself is surrounded by trees, some large, some not so large. Now, blue, black, red, yellow. And I can shape this with uh, with the clouds. I'll put a bit of iridium in it. No, I haven't got my frame up here, so when I finish it, I can't put it in the frame. But uh, I'll put it in a mount. I'll find one for it. Okay, now um, I'm letting let the sky go off a little bit. I want to put put in some uh, nice bright stuff here. Really, bit of that code yellow deep. I think that's what it is. Of umber. Just having fun with a, an idea, really, but. Uh, the uh, horizon was definitely inspired by my well, our morning bike ride. Now we'll just put in some of that colour into those trees just to put some air in. Now we'll put some red in here.
Oh, it's really pretty dark. Just adding a bit of yellow, a bit of viridian, just a suggestion of green, dark green. Nah, don't want blue, green. Okay, just showing some bits sticking up. and all sorts of stuff but in reality my view this morning was of a pond looking out over a pond to the trees and a lovely sky Brighter orange, blue red. Okay, change the brush and put in a put in the sky. I'll use a uh, my fill book for the sky. Let's get a touch of ochre. Right, let's uh, get some change that blue.
I've taken the uh, membrane out of my stay wet pallet box and just clipped it to the board. And when I've finished, I can uh, put it back. It's not quite white, this is sort of a, just a touch of ochre. I've changed the shape of that. some thick Okay, now let's change some of this background here. Black, a bit more red, a bit more yellow. I was having a great discussion earlier with a friend who said, shouldn't use black? Of course you should use black. More name, my name, Renoir.
And this is why I'm sort of making it all up. Right, I want to get some real good brights, bright yellow back in this. So if I just use a bit of that red and some of that yellow, a bit of white, I just How useful is cad yellow dark? Well, it's got a bit of bit of iridium and Get some dark shadow back in that by base of that tree. That's my usual. Okay, well, that's all I can say on that. In the brush, I'll uh, unclip my paper, put it back in the. Oh, I'll, I'll sign it. Let's see what In the brush, and clip, get my my box, which is over here. Sort of a damp towel, and grab hold of it, and put it over there. 
back in a box and now hopefully that will stay wet until I think of something else to do with the clay. It will go off eventually but this does keep it nice and moist for much longer. We've got to find a, find a mount now. Right, let's have a look. I need a square one, but I don't think I have. Move that up a bit. So you can see, I'll show you, I'll move the camera in a second. Just get this mount on in. Ah, oh, I can't do it. Well, there we are. Let's uh, wind up quite a way. There we are. Quite like that. Well, it's what I had in mind. A very simple painting. I've uh, used plenty of greens, a lot of black, a lot of yellows and a bit of blue and a bit of yellow ochre in the cloud area. It's very impressionist. So I hope you like that one folks. There's a lot more in these than, than, than uh, watercolours I have to say. Uh, this is sort of infinite what you can do with uh, opaque paints because you can change it very quickly. You can't do that with watercolour so easily. So I'll let you look at that for a couple of, a few seconds. I'll clean my brushes. And then right, okay, bye bye.